Welcome back, everybody. A lot of weather that we've got to deal with, not only for us, but for most of the country as well. 75 right now, and of course, you're thinking, wow, with all the cloud cover and the rain, you'd think it'd be colder, but no, this is the south part of the storm. The winds coming out of the southeast at 21 miles an hour. They've been up to gusting up to almost 30 miles an hour, so it is breezy, but it's all coming from the south. The storm is still up north, and we're going to be watching it as it tracks toward our area. Here are your local temperatures around the area, basically mid 70s to about 80 degrees, but it's that south wind that's pumped up all that moisture app back into our area. Now that's perfect conditions, or let's just say it's a fertile field for the cold front to work with. Now you remember the cold front is kind of like a bulldozer. It's going, it's heavier, so it's going to be pushing the warm air up. And when it does that, it condenses, cools, and creates rain. Now, here we are right about there. And you can see the light rain showers that have occurred through our area today. I say those are light because the big stuff's up north. Right now, we do have a tornado watch up in the Dallas area right there uh, as the more volatile storms are coming in from the north. Uh, west. Now, this is all part of that bay, big same system. What is this? Well, as we take a look at the big picture, you can see how the storm center has moved out of the Rockies. It's now a big howling thing with snow on the back of it, heavy thunderstorms ahead of it. We're just on the south end of all of this activity. However, for us, what we need to look at is the frontal system that is out in West Texas. Where is it? Okay, it's somewhere between Dallas and maybe Abilene. That's where the cold air is already, and then we've got to worry about this secondary low, which is going to be a <clears throat> one for the one for the record books. So, as we look at the front, it should be here about four o'clock in the morning. You will know when it gets here. It'll be knocking on your window because it's going to have about 20 to 30 mile an hour winds out of the north behind it, and then all of a sudden it gets rather chilly down into the 50s for the weekend. Now. The other um, future tracker will show you this area of low pressure, the secondary one, uh, is a very fascinating situation. Let me, let me tell you why. Now here again is the severe possibilities, the big stuff's up between uh, Wichita, uh, rather, uh, Texarkana and Dallas. Uh, we are just on the southern end of it. However, we may have a couple of thunderstorms with thunder, lightning, you know, something that might even wake you up. <laughs> we'll watch and wait, but we're on the southern end of it. Everybody up on I-10, uh, Hallettsville and uh, Flatonia, they need to consider that they got a better chance of getting some heavy weather. Now, watch Future Tracker. We start Thursday, and we see the rain come through. Here's Friday morning, sun about 4 in the morning. You can see how the big storms are in our area, okay? They'll be passing through with the frontal system shifting the wind around. And so this is the maximum problem, which will be a sunrise on Friday. Then by Friday afternoon, we get a little break and you're thinking, well, it's over. No, it's not because more rain's coming in by Saturday caused by that secondary low. And here's the really weird part. You ready for the really weird part? Here it is. Yes, we've got wind, uh, rain, snow, and ice in West Texas, certainly up in the Guadalupe Mountains, up in the Big Bend. And then from about Del Rio to maybe the Hill Country, maybe even Austin will have a wet sort of slushy thing uh, over the weekend. So if you happen to be traveling northbound or uh, going up to Austin or headed up into the Hill Country, just consider that that weather is going to be rolling through that area. And you can see how we see that little snow patch possibility in Texas. Uh, let's take a look at your um, seven day forecast because it's uh, very busy. I almost ran out of numbers on this one. Here's the front by sunrise. We call it an alert day for Friday, 61 the high rain and rain, a little break, and then more rain Monday, Tuesday, as we uh, stay in the 50s right all through the weekend. No real clearing until about Wednesday of next week. That's your seven-day forecast. Remember, if you uh, want to take your news, weather, and sports wherever you go, you can download the Crossroads Today website. All you got to do is scan that uh, QR code, and you can put it on your phone and take it with you anywhere you want to go. So right now, we'll toss it